And good evening, I'm Conrad Delouche. That win is now in question. Churchill Downs has suspended trainer Bob Baffert after his horse. Derby winner Medina Spirit tested positive for an anti-inflammatory drug called betamethasone. LX18's Mike Valenti reports that Churchill Downs officials say the Derby win could be invalidated if a second sample comes back positive. That's tonight's big story at 6. Bob Baffert under scrutiny tonight after Medina Spirit became Baffert's fifth horse in over a year to fail a drug test. But he's adamant he did nothing wrong. We did not give it. I, my veterinarian, nobody here, we, we, that matter of fact, Medina Spirit has never been treated with betamethasone. Baffert broke the news this morning that he was told Medina Spirit was found to have 21 picograms of betamethasone. The legal limit for the drug in Kentucky is 10 picograms. So break down a picogram, it's basically like if we took a handful of sand and went to the beach and threw it in with the other sand. NBC Sports' okay. Kenny Rice has covered racing for decades. He points out that a picogram is one trillionth of a gram. He says the amount in the sample appears to be minute, especially when you compare it to the size of the horse. You got an 1,100 pound horse, and so many times with these violations, uh, you get into nanograms, picograms. You know, the amount of grams that wouldn't hurt us, much less a horse. And, and that's what gets confusing about the sport, and, and I don't think it helps the sport. Rice believes racing officials should provide uniformity when it comes to the rules governing drugs in the sport. Baffert expressed similar frustration with the state of racing. Why is it happening, you know, to me? You know, there's problems in racing, but it's not Bob Baffert. He's a great horse. He doesn't deserve this. He ran a, a gallant race. Baffert was fined and suspended last year by Arkansas stewards for a pair of positive drug tests. Last month, he successfully appealed the case before the Arkansas Racing Commission. But now he's embroiled in a new controversy. The organization Animal Wellness Action released a statement calling for the need to swiftly implement the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Act to, quote, address inconsistencies in drug testing, end quote. The executive director went on to say, if further investigation finds Medina Spirit legitimately tested positive for illegal drugs at the Kentucky Derby, then racing authorities should throw the book at those found guilty of violating the rules and punish them to the fullest extent of the law. Horse. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News. We're going to dig deeper into this developing story, which has really shaken the horse racing world. Let's bring in racing expert Todd Shrupp, who's in Santa Anita Race Park in California. Todd, what was your reaction to the news that Medina Spirit failed a drug test? Uh, it was very disappointing uh, because there was a lot of momentum coming out of the Kentucky Derby for the sport. It was some of the highest television ratings NBC had ever garnered for coverage of the Kentucky Derby, some of the highest handle numbers. Uh, you also had a compelling story of a horse that was purchased for only $35,000 to go on to win the Kentucky Derby. And then you have the history that was being made by Bob Baffert winning his seventh Kentucky Derby and standing alone. Now it looks like he may join uh, in dubious history here, and that is the last horse to be disqualified in the Kentucky Derby. And the only one from a win was Dancer's Image back in 1968 for a phenylbutazolidin, or butte as we call it, positive which has been kind of a common medication in our sport and probably wouldn't even happen today, but that's the type of history we're looking at now. We now have seen two of the last three races finish with some controversy sticking with the history theme, but overall, this is a rare occurrence still in the Derby, right? Well, it is, and here's the other thing. It shows that the system works, and uh, with Bob Baffert, as much as he's accomplished, if uh, he has a situation where a horse has broken the rules and uh, under his care, uh, then he is still going to be accountable for that. And that's the thing to, to keep in mind, regardless of how this happened, every trainer is responsible for the horse and their care. And so Bob Baffert can explain away a lot of situations that may have led to this, but ultimately it's his responsibility. Todd Shrupp, thanks for joining us on LX18 News at 6. Thank you. We're taking a closer look at all of the factors here, looking first at what exactly is betamethasone. According to the Cleveland Clinic, it is a corticosteroid, meaning it helps reduce swelling, redness, itching, and allergic reactions. There are several versions of the drug, including injections and topical creams. They are used to treat conditions such as arthritis, asthma, skin conditions, and more. Another question people are wondering, what happens to your winnings if you cashed in and Medina Spirit is disqualified? Well, according to the Louisville Courier-Journal, the short answer is nothing. 
or at least it's very unlikely to be impacted. The online publication points to the last time a Kentucky Derby winner was disqualified for a positive drug test, which as Todd said happened back in 1968. The Kentucky Horse Racing Commission determined the horse that finished second that year would be considered the winner, except for paramutual payoffs. The CJ reports once a race is official at the track, betting results are also final. Well, it's been a windy day across the